Hello, Tess Pilot Monkey here, and today we're going to be looking at Positron here. And I hope you got those instructions, they went off the screen rather quickly. Uh, they also use this caps and control uh, for doing the uh, left and right. Oh, here they are. <laughs> yes, caps lock and control for doing left and right. Um, but uh, there's a, a setting in the um, emulator here which sets it up to be A and S for left and right as well. And uh, yeah, there's a not great names for those things, so I'll just ignore those. Anyhow, it's basically a kind of Space Invaders ish kind of thing. Um, but there's different things later on. There's probably a another particular type of game that I uh, don't know the name of, but is actually more likely trying to um, emulate. But <laughs> paying attention, but I don't know the name of that, so ooh, watch out. So we'll just ooh, not try not to get a shot. And there we go. Sheet one of wave one vaporized. Very odd way to name things, but uh, we'll go with that. And last time I tried it, I got to this level, uh, but I only tried it for like a couple of minutes, so. Maybe I can get past here. Maybe I can't, but we'll see. We've seen how I deal with Ooh, games I don't know. Oh, there we go. So you can make a guess at how far I might get in this. Um, right. Yeah, and you have to make sure you shoot them all before they get to the bottom. Um, because otherwise it is game over. As well as dying is, is game over too. Um, but... Uh, Let's let's go again. Ooh, I was pushing the wrong buttons there. I'm going automatically for Z and X because you know that's kind of what I'm used for is uh, left and right. Must be uh, have been uh, quite a, an earlier game. I mean, there's probably a date on the uh, title screen here somewhere. But yeah, must have been like an earlier game on the PC Micro, unless some particular games really like using kind of slightly awkward controls. Uh, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this, am I? No. Um But uh Yeah, that overall it's quite an enjoyable little game. Maybe a little maybe a little difficult, but uh, you know, this is the the way things go. Um if this is one of the only games that you have at all, then I suppose it's 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 not not the worst thing for it to be a little bit challenging. And um, this one, thank you very much. Now what's next? Let's have a look. Some bow ties. Oh dear, they're coming down a bit fast. But oh dear. Game over. Let's have one more try and see <coughs> excuse me, where we can get there. Oh, yep, wrong buttons again. Just so instinctively go for the Z and X to uh, move left and right. And... Oh, oh dear. <laughs> One more left, and uh, accidents have to happen now. So, yeah, I think these little things move a lot faster than Space Invaders tend to, but then these don't speed up right near the uh, end. Which is a good thing, I never really liked that. Like, give me a chance to actually get a, a hold of the, uh, the feel of the game. And how it's uh, how it controlled, rather than just speeding up in the first minutes and then uh, I die over and over again. Oh well. Well, there we go. So uh, one last thing on the high score table. Yeah, 1983. This was released, so fairly early uh, for the BBC Micro, I think. Uh, but uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.